What role should AI play in personalization and how can marketeers and creatives balance the need for tailored experiences with concerns around data privacy and transparency? See, AI has biases within it, uh, you know, certain assumptions about uh, the nature of, uh, you know, is it English speaking, cultural references, uh, and in particular in generative AI where you're generating images and content, um, those biases can show up in, in unexpected ways. So imagine, for example, we have a, a portrait photo of, of a person and we're saying, hey, I want to expand this image so that it uh, better fits my website. So, you know, fits into a, a longer banner, for example. Uh, we ask generative AI to extend the image for us. In doing so, of course, it has to generate content for this, this person. So, you know, what does their torso look like? Uh, what do their legs look like? And so on. And in doing so, uh, it, it actually starts to make a certain number of assumptions and biases within that. So, for example, it could quite comfortably, and uh, it would be pretty normal, uh, for it to generate content where it's like, and here's the person's legs, and so on and so forth. But in doing so, it's made an assumption that this person, for example, doesn't have you know, a particular physical disability. They, they aren't in a wheelchair, for example. And when using personal content, you know, photos uploaded of individuals, that's actually really a big risk in that hyper personalization case, because then you're generating something that's, that where a person goes, that doesn't actually represent me at all. Um, a better approach in general is to, is to make groups of, of people who are quite specific, um, but without those kind of uh, particular traits, uh, you know, visual traits. So you could say, for example, I know this person, uh, they are from the middle of the UK, and uh, they have cats, so I can use that to generate content from there.